on Monday, the 2nd of March, 2009. We enter the portal and we're transported to another dimension. Hello and welcome to Portal. Some years, the Easter bunnies have a harder job than others to deliver your eggs. Let's travel through the portal and see what happened when the Easter bunny met the helpful dragon. The Easter bunny and the helpful dragon. Once upon a time, there was an Easter bunny. She was a good little bunny and she used to deliver Easter eggs everywhere. She loved to do this. One day, she was in the forest with her basket full of eggs to deliver to all of the creatures who lived there. As she was walking, she was sure she was being followed. She stopped and listened. She heard a noise. It sounded like someone was right behind a tree hiding. There was someone there. It was the wicked wolf. The Easter Bunny started to run, but the wolf was too fast. The wolf caught up with her quickly and jumped. The Easter Bunny managed to dodge out of the way and the wolf ended up landing in a hole in the ground. She was safe but she lost all her eggs. She looked around for them but couldn't see any of them anywhere. The helpful dragon lived nearby. The Easter Bunny knew, knew he'd be able to help. She went to find him to ask if he could find the Easter eggs. Can you help me? The friendly dragon flew off into the sky. He went to find the Easter eggs that were scattered all over the forest. He returned a little while later with a map and gave it to the Easter Bunny. Thank you. The map was marked to show where all the Easter eggs were. The Easter Bunny could now go and find them all and deliver them to everyone in time for Easter. The end. Have you ever wondered what really happened to the gingerbread man? Well, we're about to find out with the fairy tale chat. Fairy tale chat! Good afternoon and welcome to Fairy Tale Chat. His disappearance is shrouded in mystery. The circumstances have never been known. Did the priest of all the occurred? Is it a cover up? D did the fox really eat the gingerbread man? In today's show, we are going to be joined by the fox and a gate of witnesses. Please welcome Miss Star Fox. <laughs> so, Mr. Fox, tell us your side of the story. Well, Princess, as you can see, it's been a difficult time. I've been getting the blame for the disappearance of the gingerbread man. There was no proof at all. Interest interesting that you say that, Mr. Fox, because of our next guest, things differently. Please welcome Goldilocks. Thank you, Princess. It's simple. Mr. Fox at the gingerbread man. When I was walking over the bridge, I saw the gingerbread man crouching on top of the, Mr. Fox's nose. Scared, he's evil, nasty and sly. Strong words, Goldilocks, do you have any evidence? Yes, when I was walking over the bridge, Mr. Fox nearly gobbled me up. Interesting, Goldilocks. 
I think it would be a good time to hear from our next guest. Please welcome Red Riding Hood. Hey, well, you just talk. You're the one who broke into the bear's house, ate the pirates, broke the chair, and slept in the bed. You're the one who should be locked up, lady. Lies. <laughs> Ladies, can we calm, please? So, Red Riding Hood, tell us your side of the story. Well, did you actually say Mr. Fox eat um, Goldilocks? Yes, I saw it, actually, all of it. You're lying, because when I was on my way to Grandma's house, I saw them having great fun. Mr. Gingerbread Man wasn't scared at all. He was tossing and turning and swirling and whirling. Interesting. I think it would be a good time to hear from our next guest. Please welcome Mr. Pig. I agree with Goldilocks. I was busy building my house when I saw everyone running. I saw the gingerbread man, the cow, the horse, the flower, little old man, little old woman, to the river. I hid in the bushes next to the bridge. I heard his napping sound. What did snapping sound sound like? It sounded like snap. Okay. Anyways, moving on to our next guest, please welcome Mrs. Bear. Well, Princess, you might be interested, but I've got to say, I think it was Gindy Lux that ate the gingerbread man. The stabbing sound that Mr. Pig heard was Gindy Lux's vicious teeth. She is evil. Interesting, Mrs. Bear. I think it would be a good time to hear from our next guest. Please welcome Mr. Wolf. Well, I was climbing down one of the pig's chimney, and just before I slid down there, I saw a huge line of people running and screaming. They were trying to catch this funny-looking man. I'm sure that was the gingerbread man. I agree, Mr. Pig, the slam sound was too loud for Goldilocks. Wow, so many points of view. I think it would be a good time to hear from our final guest, the troll. I'm certain it wasn't the fox. All I've heard is the usual snapping sound of crocodiles that live in my river. Did any of you actually see Mr. Fox eating the gingerbread man? No. Miss Bear? No. Miss Running Bear? No. Goldilocks? Uh, no. Miss Pig? Uh, no. Well, I wonder who this can be. I'm sorry for all the fuss. I've only been able to stay for ten years. I mean, look at me. I'm covered in cobwebs. But don't worry. No one is hurting me. Remember the rhyme? Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Another mystery song. Please join us tomorrow at the same time for more fairy tale chat. Have you ever met a boy like Jake? His magical powers of meditation take him on all sorts of adventures. Welcome to Jake's Adventure! Of course, it'll be easy. I know, but changing grades, it isn't cool though, is it? I'm off to fetch my pencil. How did you? I'm in. 
I just need to find the files, make you the changes, then I'm out. Gee. <coughs> Where is it? Where is it? Bob, I thought I was the one who was always there dreaming. Bob, wake up! We just need to get into the files before the teachers get here. No way, I don't want anything to do with that. What's there to be scared of? It's only a computer. I'm off to get my pencil. Back in a sec. Wow, that was amazing. Tune in next week for more trips through the portal.